Hi, everyone. Today's upgrade is the old Mercedes-Benz C-Center control. This is the tool used for disassembly. We prepare according to demand. First, we use tools to pry open the air wings on the original car. Then pull the plug off the back of the outlet. Then we unscrew the four screws that hold the main engine and the screen of the original car. Then we lift the left and right clasp that holds the main engine in place. Now we can take out the original engine and unplug the power on the back of it. Then we take off the original screen and unplug everything on the back as well. We begin to lay out the wire to thread the white head of the new power supply from the host position to the screen position. Now we connect the FM transmitter, connect the emitted red wire to the BGR wire on the new power supply, and then connect the black to the GND wire. Then connect the red and white plug of the transmitter to the red and white plug of the extension cable. Then connect the extension cord to the AUX input on the power supply. This is the button adjustment table for the transmitter. We can push all four buttons to L according to the table. Now we connect the black plug of the new power cord to the mainframe, and then another plug to the original mainframe power plug. Then reinstall the host. Reattach it. OK, next we attach the three metal pieces to the plastic holder of the new screen. Now attach the new plastic bracket and secure it. We connect the LVDS cable of the screen. Then connect the white power supply of the screen. We re-plug the back of the outlet and reinstall the outlet. Then install the plastic strips on the base. You are now ready to install the screen. Has been installed successfully. This new screen retains the original car system. We need to set the resolution of the original car system interface first. Then we enter the radio interface of the original car system and manually. Input the same radio frequency band of the FM transmitter, so our Android system can play music with sound. In addition, you can adjust the sound of the music. At the rest you can watch movies on the screen. Support map navigation, you can go anywhere you want to go. Support dashboard. A Bluetooth phone is available, and you can also operate from the steering wheel. Support for wireless CarPlay. You can use voice assistant here, listen to music, make phone calls, use map navigation and more. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.